Hi, welcome to another episode of Cancer Tamer. I'm your host, Dr. Charlie Ferrer. And today we have some great information for you for those that have been having some difficulty hearing. So we have a great guest here today to talk to you about that. And of course, you know who's here with me. Hi, Deborah Santulli Barone. So today I wanna to introduce Andrew Simontacci. Hope I said that right. <laughs> and he's gonna to talk to us about a telephone and explain a little bit about the phone that we have here with us and what it does mm -hmm. and, and what it is and mm -hmm. what your company uh, Cool, and, cool, and absolutely. So does. guys, thank you for having me. Um, long story short, it's a phone. Uh, you speak like you normally speak, you hear the best that you can, and if you miss a word, you look down at the screen and you read every word of what the other person says in real time. So this is kind of like a TDD phone, right? Similar, the, the, similar. And when we talk about TDD phones, those are phones that individuals with hearing loss mm -hmm. or that are deaf are able to use because you're reading the screen while somebody else is talking. Right. So exactly. does somebody else need a phone similar? Right, so this falls along the lines of um, TTD where uh, you can read everything uh, with that being said the words on this come in real time there's no delay that's the beauty of the internet so oh, you that's can't what's go in and, and do in your text and go and fix it <laughs> right there's no changing this isn't like you're you know you're manipulating the words basically you're on the phone with somebody um, and as they're speaking their words are being transcribed instantly so it's okay. only their words, not yours. It's let's only say. their words. Okay. It's not the full conversation, oh, exactly. Okay. And so, do they need a similar phone to be able to talk with you, or can they do it from any device on their iPhone or Android or any any other kind of phone? So that that's a have? very good question. Um, this phone is all you need. So you have it in your house. Mm -hmm. She doesn't. When she calls you at the same number you have in your house, nothing changes, and that's it. She can have any phone she wants: her house phone, ah. her cell phone. Android, iPhone, doesn't make a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, And so why is this important for cancer patients? So actually, I would probably go ahead as to say that the majority of people I deal with, 30% or so, um, suffer from cancer or, ha or have been treated uh, with chemo or anything, anything, you know, or cancer people in the community, um, they definitely find the need for this phone. And, and one of the beauties of it is it's got a phone book. Um, so all of their numbers in it, um, everyone they need, all their emergency contacts, and if they have to speak to a doctor or speak to someone they have a, a specialist, um, their words are right in front of them. So there's no more, hey, you know, but did you say Wednesday or Thursday? Did you say, was that 3.30 or 4.30? They don't have to ask, they don't have to struggle to speak to maybe the nurse or one of the technicians. It's all right in front of them. And can you, so does it then store the information for you to look at later as well? Mm -hmm. So if you hang up the phone and you're done, mm -hmm. can you go back and mm -hmm. go, oh yeah, that's what they were saying? Mm -hmm. So it, it keeps that running dialogue, like kind of like a text, when you send somebody a text, right. and unless you wipe it off, mm -hmm. you can still go back in and see the text from yesterday. Right, so it has a call log in it. Mm -hmm. So once you finish up your phone call and you're like, wow, what, you know, what time did she say? You can hit your call log, hit the call or any of your calls and you'll see everywhere you guys exchange. <laughs> that's what I need sometimes. <laughs> I forget what day, what time. I mean, that's really comical. Can you also enter, if you have a new doctor and you haven't talked to him yet, can you also enter that in the phone book there? Right, so you'll oh, have okay. two options where mm -hmm. you can add a contact right in the phone book. So oh, open okay. the phone book, add a contact, mm -hmm. or when you hang up the phone, say you get a call from a friend, or like you said, a doctor, it'll actually ask you, hey, do you want to save this number? Oh. What do you want to save it under? Do they have multiple numbers? So right. it, you know, it, it has those those compatibility oh, and accessibility okay. options. And for people like us, because every time you say phone book, I'm thinking the yellow page yeah. phone book <laughs> that we grew up with, but it's the phone book in the I'm in the system itself, right? right. It, uh -huh. it, in the phone, right? right. So it and so have you just play with the buttons, right? And, and exactly. Find out. Just like our yeah. cell phones, you know, similar to that. Then where right. you have your you know phone book, where you have your contact say. list. And yeah. Stuff. So right. that's true. So one of the things that we were talking about. Um, you know, and our show is all about individuals that have cancer, mm -hmm. any type of cancer and such. And so we had briefly talked about before of the fact that sometimes the side effects of treatment mm -hmm. from chemo mm -hmm. or radiation can cause that hearing loss. Mm -hmm. And so this phone is something that they can get on their medical insurance or Medicaid or things like that. So how does that work? So I can actually explain that. Um, 
Basically, back in the 90s, the government said every single American is entitled to equal communication, which we are. So they uh, established in the Americans with Disabilities Act, Title IV, that there was gonna be a fund taken out, or I should say a fee taken out, of every American's phone bill every single month. That's where this is paid from. So people who do need this, they don't need insurance, they don't need Medicaid, they don't oh. need Medicare, there's no Social Security, no income check, none of that. Oh wow. Us Americans, I every American, me, really? I don't suffer from any hearing loss, thank God, <laughs> but any, every American since the 90s off of your oh. cell phone bill, your beeper bill, your home and phone bill. And what if you don't have a, a phone bill or a beeper bill? Can you still qualify? Right, so it's not so much as, hmm. that's not the form of payment, but that's where the, the, where the, funds, the come. funds have come from. Okay. Exactly. So we don't even know that's taken out. It's just automatic? Well, if, Or does it say on the bill that I does. never read? So, right. okay. That's how it works. So it's one of those other, right. <laughs> other charges. Yeah. The majority of people will say, the other I don't know that I'm paying for that, but if you go home and look, you'll see a line item. It'll either say uh, universal service fee, or it'll say TRS, fund, telecommunication relay service. That's the fund. Wow. The ones that you don't know about. The ones yeah. you don't know about. And it costs that you like 79 cents and That's you don't That's exactly even what it is. It's 80 cents to $1.20 depending oh. on where you live. Yeah. Okay. God, I'm I good. like that. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. So we're not even using, you know, what we could use, let's Correct. say. Like we encounter a lot of uh, cancer patients, so that's great to know. Right, of course. And so is this similar as well to the phone that you get there's that but these are for the house right. right do you have a phone that they can have to take with them like a cell phone it's a good question so oh. we um okay so we don't give them the physical device but we do make an app mm -hmm. it's 2019 everything's involving apps right. uh we have an app right. where they would download it through the app store it's free same oh. thing like the phone okay, and what will happen is it functions the same way their regular phone app would function so they would open up our app click on it, make their phone call, or whoever calls them, and in the same way that they talk on the cell phone, they put our app on speaker, and they can talk and read every word right wow. in front of them on the go. That's awesome. I'm a, I am so impressed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we'll be getting that app. Yeah, right? <laughs> For those of you that want that information, you go to our website, www.cancertamer.org and we'll have all this information there too. Right. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to give us a a call or email us and we'll forward them to Andrew and have him answer the questions for us. Um, the other piece too that I'm looking at is, you know, the I know Medicaid or, or medical services also has that phone that they actually give you a phone, not okay. like an iPhone or anything, but just, you know, I'm a regular mm -hmm. phone right. that, um, you know, if, if you have medical issues mm -hmm. and you only have so many minutes, of course, you're not going to, oh, you see. know, you're not going to be, yeah, it can't you know, be a business calling phone. everybody <laughs> right. for, you know, 10 hundred yeah. hours. I right. think they give you like 200 minutes mm -hmm. a month. That's pretty good though. Um, which is great. Yeah. So it's like the doctor, um, you can say, hey, you're running up my minutes, just <laughs> give me my damn results. Um, but do you guys have something like that too? Or is it only this? Phone. So it is. Or do you have a handheld phone? I know you have the app. Right. But is there a handheld phone as well? Right. So there's nothing handheld um, okay. at this time. And I don't know if there will be. I can't comment on that. Um, but it doesn't interfere. So a lot of times people will tell me, you know, hey, we have the phone from the government. We have the cell phone from the government. Right. Or the Obama phone, um, whatever you would like to call it. This doesn't interfere. So if you have any other programs or you're a part of any other programs that provide anything free to you, this isn't going to affect that. So you can have whatever you've received That's from great. free from any other agencies, yeah. you can also have this. Right. And this would be a separate line altogether. So, so then you provide the separate line. I'm glad that you brought that up. Uh -huh. This hooks in right to the phone line you have. If so you, you have a phone line. If you have right. it, you need, unfortunately you for need right now, phone, right. you need to have a phone line. In the future, mm -hmm. though, we are going to no longer need the phone line. Oh, and so you'll uh, have a Wi-Fi. We'll connection. have it over vo voice over oh. IP. That should so be then you'll have soon. to have the I, you'll have to have the internet in <laughs> the right. Yeah, the internet's a requirement for right now. So there are oh. three requirements in order mm -hmm. to get the okay. phone for free. Um, you know, there's no catch, but there are right. requirements. You need to have a little bit of hearing loss. Mm -hmm. You need to have a landline phone, and you need to have internet. Because that's how you get the information. Correct. The internet oh. is what transfers, transcribes the words in real time. The mm -hmm. phone line is what you're talking over, and your hearing loss is what qualifies you. Right. Hmm. So let's say you're 90, you live alone, mm -hmm. but you don't have the internet. Mm -hmm. Then it won't work like that. Unfortunately okay. right. not. All yet. right, just no. so I know. 
So your mom can't get it. <laughs> but there are other programs, um, I believe. Thank that God she can hear. <laughs> <laughs> there are other programs, I believe, um, that do work just over the landline. Um, obviously, our program works over internet. Um, but for someone like that, there are mm -hmm. ways to reach out and find out more, and they, they'll give them a, a less more, you know, a, how should I say it, a less more, a less technologically advanced phone. Right. It'll just be a right. simple plug it into dial up, and it'll have the words on there. Oh, right. oh I see. Right. And you don't need a big jumbo fancy hundred feature phone no, no. anyway. No. I mean, no. that would drive you nuts. And yeah. how many people actually do that unless you're right. like twenty? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> unless you're twenty. Right. Unless you're twenty, you're not. <laughs> You're not messing with That's that. Funny. It's like, can I hear the person? Yes, okay. If can I can't, hear you now? Right. Yeah. And so the connection is definitely with the uh, with the wire to the home landline, uh, the landline, mm -hmm. so that it's not like it's a different service altogether, and that service isn't good or whatever. You know, how some people they go and they change companies, and then they can't hear anything. Right. <laughs> anyhow. Yeah. But so that's good. So it's with whatever line they have. Whatever line yeah, you so already it's have. Files, so it, it's so it keeps the yeah. same. Phone Keeping number. your same it's number. Just a phone. Just right. another, it's almost as if you're going to Costco and saying, "Oh wow, that's a nice phone. I can put that in my kitchen." Right. Same thing. You're just hooking it up to your phone line ah, using the phone. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Hmm. Um, are they easy to install? Do you have to come in? Does mm -hmm. a technician have to come in and install it? It's a good question. So um, I how always have great questions. I don't notice. <laughs> I notice. <laughs> I definitely noticed. Um, <laughs> yes. So the the phone is acquired by calling me or calling uh, any other rep or calling any other um, phone line that we have established for our company. So okay. obviously you can reach our website or um, my phone number. I have a personal phone line. Uh, anybody can reach me and say, hey, you know, I heard about your phone. I'm interested in receiving it. Can you tell me more? Right. Um, and how it works is once I qualify them over the phone, um, we set up a date, time, and appointment. I make sure then they have the the bigger qualifications, which are, hey, you know, is, is your doctor aware that you have some sort of hearing loss? Right, is, right. is it documented? Um, then I'll see, okay, I, I see you have a router, I see you have a home phone line, and we're able to go ahead and put the phone in. Oh. Um, and that's how it's done. And then I'll, um, we actually fill out a form that gets sent to their doctor, and that their doctor will verify, and it's kosher. Hearing Do you loss. have to set up anything? Like, will it be confusing if the... Uh, electricity goes down and now mm -hmm. it has to regroup again? Do they have to pr program anything? Because some mm -hmm. people might have a hard time doing that. Right. So yeah. I definitely always suggest, especially to, to the elderly, is to keep a landline phone. Right. Keep a phone that doesn't have any electricity on it uh -huh. um, in case of, of the power okay. going out. Or just a phone, you know, uh, that how, just how has How does a, that happen, though? Like, the, my electric went out yesterday. I couldn't mm -hmm. use my home phone, which was the landline. Right. Those, those phones, probably from, I would say, the 90s, with the cord, oh, and they yeah. don't have any electric at all, oh. those type of phones will work when the power goes out. Really? Yes, those will work. So those old um, analog. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if the, is the term is it analog? Yeah, that would be analog. Right. Right. Yeah, I think it right. is analog. You're right. Oh, I'm good. Like that. Yes. 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 <laughs> those don't go, those you don't still have one of those? I'm dating right. myself here. <laughs> Because right. she still has one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully she does. In case of an emergency. Interesting. That's, yeah. well, no, I, I was shocked. I was yeah. like, okay, I didn't know that this was going to happen. No, I, right. I, I don't. And, and <laughs> it's one of those things where it's a good piece to have an extra line at home. But, right. you know, we, we've become a... <laughs> Yeah, we've become a, um, a society that has the handheld phones that go with us everywhere. Right. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, the one pet peeve that I have for you guys are talking on the phone in public. Oh, I don't want to hear your arguments. I know. So please don't hate stop that. doing that. Some things should be kept <laughs> private. Yeah, especially in the doctor's office. Yeah. Who wants to hear your conversations? <laughs> especially if there's a sign that says, do not use your cell phone in the office. Yeah. <laughs> but... Um, but if you do have those phones, then you can have another way of communicating, another way of, of keeping yourself safe. Mm -hmm. And then you have the home line mm -hmm. um, that you have. And, and I, you mentioned, and I wanted to reiterate, was that even if you have um, you know, a smartphone, you have that app that you could download mm -hmm. that will just work the same here. Mm -hmm. Right. So, but here's my question. Because you have the home line, that's one separate line. So oh, say right. number one, two, three, and then you have your your smartphone number two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how does um, that work? They still connect. Do they still, um, you know, do they then have to call you on your on your cell phone instead mm -hmm. of the house phone, mm -hmm. or does it automatically transfer over? So good question. Mm, um, that's a good one. <laughs> the app is tied to their own phone number. 
So okay. they have. So what will actually happen with the app is they're given a phone number that is specific to the app. Right, but what I mean is like, okay, so you have this phone at home, mm -hmm. and then I have my smartphone mm -hmm. that I take with me everywhere else. Mm -hmm. And so this phone has one number, my phone has another number, so then do I, is it possible to then just transfer this phone to my smartphone? No, they work I'm independently. Out? So I she's think I, I think I see what your, your question yeah, is. Yeah, she's right. out at a store and someone wants to reach her. Mm -hmm. And they only have and that call number. In the house. So how the heck can they get to the cell phone? Right? So on oh. these, right? So what you would naturally have your own cell phone number mm -hmm. is what you're saying. And then they can just call the they cell phone. They can just phone ring that number because I have the app exactly. I can download. Exactly. Oh. And now I wanted to mention also um, hmm. in the coming months. Uh, so for right now, we just have the home phone device and we have the app for iOS, meaning iPhone. Mm -hmm. um, in the coming months, we're also going to have the app for Android, oh, and we're awesome. also going to have it. Uh, work on tablets. So if seniors are oh, familiar yeah, with ha right. just having a tablet, a tablet in the house, right. they can actually call, receive phone calls right on their really? tablet and read the words right on their tablet as long that's as the amazing. tablet's obviously connected to internet. Yeah, and right. then you can do like the finger thing <laughs> <laughs> and open it up so yeah. it's yeah. even bigger because right. that's, that's right. the yeah. other problem that's, is yeah. the and they can see the little screen. Right. <laughs> you know, and this one this when we were, bigger? we unplugged it so that you can, you don't have this feedback, but um, but it has a pretty big screen. This is what, like a seven inch, eight inch screen? It is seven and a half inches. Oh. Um, and the words go up to two inches large. Mm -hmm. So okay. they're big. You could probably see them, you know, right. even people who because suffer from here, uh, from sight from loss. I, right. Sight loss. Yeah, right. because then you have the, um, you know, especially since, again, we deal a lot with, with issues for cancer patients. Mm -hmm. And so one of the side effects from medication can be eyesight loss or oh, can yeah, be hearing loss or, you know, on top of the neuropathy and all the other side effects that you have. Um, God forbid that happens to you, but here's one solution that if you're starting to have issues like that, this right. might be able to help. And if you are starting to have issues like that, then immediately talk to your doctor. Right. Mm -hmm. Just you know, get we, it checked out. Yeah. Always. Get it checked right. out. Yeah. Always get yourself checked out whenever you right. see any side effects. And my thing is don't feel like you're you're being a nuisance because it's like, oh, this week I had, you know, neuropathy in my feet. Next week I have pain in my chest. Next week I have, you know, migraines. It's always, 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 you know, share those issues yeah, with definitely. your physician yeah. because that's how they can then verify, well, here it is. And, oh, those migraines are happening because you're looking, working too hard. You're working too hard all night long and <laughs> you're not getting enough sleep. Yeah, or, really. <laughs> you know, or it's, it's not a tumor. <laughs> no, but um, it's the truth. Even when my eyes started getting dry, I thought it was the medication. And my doctor kept saying, no, that's not a side effect. But you have to take it one step further. And I said, all right, I'm going to go to an eye doctor. You know, and I did. And, you know, she told me what to use and it has felt better. But it had nothing to do with the medication. So I was always thinking anything that happens has to do with the medication. And then most people, when their doctor says, oh, that's not a side effect, they just accept don't accept always get answers always get i'm answers. a crazy person when it comes and to read answers those damn I mean, labels yeah oh you know? god eight I, page things so. though i know but, but it effects. is that piece of eight pages. here's the way i look at it if you go to do a contract and you're going to buy a new house aren't you going to read the contract that, that right. includes your house right. and you know hoa fees or whatever fees or you know you go and buy a phone you you want to see what all the little Right. you know what's it called again um you know the fine little print. fine print yeah, the you fine know print. so why aren't you doing that for your medication i don't understand why are you doing that for the products that you buy at home right you know That's why true. aren't you reading those labels and you know i'm a, I'm a big believer in reading mm -hmm. and i found that nobody wants to go shopping with me <laughs> because i will sit at the at the supermarket and i'll start wait a minute, let me see, um, nope, there's carrageenan, nope, there's soy, nope, there's <laughs> wheat, right. you know, and it's like, no, and I go through, like, you know, <laughs> it, it takes me a 30-minute shopping spree at the grocery store will take at least two hours right. for me. Right, of course. So nobody wants to go with me, and it's like, <laughs> at least I eat healthy, and I know what I'm putting in my body. Right. Um, and then I have the people that are calling me going, um, Charlie, yeah. what, was what, that? what was that thing that you said that's on the ice cream? <laughs> 
Um, you know, yeah, so scary. it is that piece of making sure that you read the fine print, making sure that you read the labels of the medication. Mm -hmm. And it's not to say that you're going to turn around and not do the medication. It's to say that now you're informed. Right, you're educated now, at least now. And now even better is that you know what side effects it might be causing and then you can be on the lookout for it. Definitely. You know, not to get neurotic and go, oh my God, you know, the neuropathy is, is like in my legs and neuropathy is when you're having issues with your nerves, um, with your nerves and you're not feeling stuff correctly. Mm -hmm. But it is a good awareness mm -hmm. and that's the piece of with cancer or any kind of chronic disease or any kind of issues that you're having is be aware Definitely. and talk yeah. and ask questions and write the things down so, um, um, because it's that piece of... You know, when you go to the doctor's office, and I actually had, and this started from a doctor that actually mm -hmm. told me this, where I went in and he goes, oh, how are you feeling? I said, oh, I'm fine. He's like, what are you doing here then? <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, and it's like, oh, I have an issue. He goes, start with that. Yeah, that you know? makes And sense. then write it all down because the minute that you get to the doctors, right. you forget. You fumble. You yeah. know, you it's like, um, it down. yeah, I had a question, but I, I can't remember right. what it was, and I'll ask you later. You know you're not going to ask them later. Right. And That's you know you're true. not going to get in to see another appointment. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> you know, you're it's already tired work. of being there. <laughs> Ten minutes, that's yeah. it. Yeah, so you know. my thing is always, you know, going with the with the questions already done. And mm -hmm. if you know you have a, an appointment the following week, then just write the questions down. And, you know, my doctor hates when they see my notebook in my hand because I start, yep, Too I got bad. questions. <laughs> you know, bad, 20 though. down the list. Yeah. Well, um, I have a question. Okay. Yeah. Have you personally met with any uh, cancer patients that needed this phone? Mm -hmm. oh, so yeah. I actually, we install this phone in, in anywhere. I mean, mm -hmm. in, in the house, in nursing homes, in rehabilitation centers. Ah. I mean, anywhere that there's Wi-Fi and a landline phone, this phone will go in. Um, mm -hmm. A number of patients I've worked with uh, out in Brooklyn, it's slipping my mind right now. Actually, Norwegian Christian Home in Brooklyn. Oh, I remember that place. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've worked with a number of patients in there. A handful of them had cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, some and so this is also in nursing homes as well? You can do this? Yeah, I mean, as yeah, long as they have a landline that. phone, as long as they have their own number for their room, like a direct line. Oh, right, right. And as long as they have an internet connection, be it their own or be it throughout the building. Right, the wi They would qualify. That's, that's, you know? yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good to know because my mother's in assisted living and she has her own landline yeah. there. There you go. That and would be great yeah. when the time comes. I mean, right now she's got hearing like uh, Spider-Man over there. <laughs> 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 they can hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing yeah. too um, is <laughs> with, with cancer patients and, and either in remission or, or currently fighting, uh, they have a, a great sense of camaraderie. Mm -hmm. uh, like I feel like you know you meet one or two people with cancer and you help them and even in be it a small way or a big impactful way, they want to spread that. Yeah. Um, and I really like that so far most of the patients, I should say all of the patients that I've met and customers that I've worked with that have ever fought or dealt with cancer mm -hmm. have always been the first people to call me back and say, hey, I know someone else. That's or great. Or I have a friend or I have a, a American cancer. I ha actually am going to work at a, a, uh, an American Cancer Society is having a sponsoring a walk. Um, and I'm going to be there with a table and a booth. Mm -hmm. And one of the women who I put the phone in told me about it and said, I, I want to sit with you all day right. and let them know about, hey, I have this phone and it's, right. it's real and it helps and, you know, it, it makes me feel more independent. I can make a phone call. I can order a pizza. I can just, the conversation <laughs> is just, it's so much easier on the phone That's for me, me yeah. where right. I would struggle in the past. And, you know, uh -huh. you get that with, with cancer fighters. Is They're fighters, but they're lovers. So Now, um, yeah. so when you talked part. about the American Cancer Society, is that the walk in October it for is breast cancer or just all around? I believe it's, it's going to be in Prospect Park. I don't, I'm not sure on the oh, exact they day. Do That's over. the Brooklyn one. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, different, there's different walks. Uh -huh. Right, right. And, and so I think they're actually staggering them this year as yeah. opposed to having them all on the same day Bunched right this way right. people can, can go go to the different ones right because i know i can never go to the one in queens where my sister wants me to mm -hmm. go right because it's at What's the, the same time here right 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 so That's um, true. yeah uh -huh. so we're almost out of time and so i wanted to um reiterate some of the pieces so you can get this phone for free mm. what there's no um you know and and you know your company is is clear captions there's other companies out there right. that are doing the same thing in in Staten Island in throughout New York City throughout um, 
I don't know, throughout the U.S.? United States. Wherever, my company, as well as other companies, as, as well as this program's inception, Excellent. is the entire United States. So you don't just have to be in New York City. Correct. You can be right. anywhere. Correct. As long as you're in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And it's already paid for, so you don't have to pay for it. Correct. That's the best. <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> that is I've got freebies. <laughs> yeah, who would have known? I mean, that's um, so amazing. Yeah, and so, and then if they have an issue with... Um, somebody will come out and s install it for them, mm -hmm. set everything up, mm -hmm. so that you don't have to sit there and try to go, well, A equals B and C. No, 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 Directions. No. Um, they'll yeah. have that rep to handle them, and they'll have uh, seven-day-a-week tech support. That was my next phenomenal. question. Yeah, so fantastic. then you'll have some kind of, of support that the person will. And is that, uh, you said 24-7? It's seven days a week. Uh, during the week, it's 24 hours. The weekends are a little different. Okay. Oh, I have one more question. Does this phone act as an answering? It does have an answering oh, machine. Okay, answer. It has a speaker oh, cool. phone. Remember, okay. it's five times louder than a normal phone. Right. Um, it actually lets you know when spam is calling, which is nice. Oh, has, I like that. It has like a built-in spam registry. So it'll say, hey, spam, don't pick up, <laughs> which is nice. Gotta, and yeah. it works with any any um, telephone Ca carrier. service. Any yes. carrier. That is great. Verizon, so. Spectrum, Optimum, Maltese One, okay. uh, oh. a couple of the Lifeline numbers, if okay. they give you their own number. Right. Any of those that you're paying for a landline phone, yeah. And does it work also with the phones that you use from the internet? You know, like if you're calling yes, the Yes, as internet. if like you're talking like a Magic Jack or a Vonage. Yep, yeah, those will work. As like long that. as there's a physical dial-up line, it'll oh. work. Yeah. Awesome. That is so interesting. Yeah, who See, we, we find really cool <laughs> things to talk about. Yeah, on this I, stuff. I'm so glad Thank I met you. you. Thank you. So is there anything that we haven't covered that you want to say before we close the show? Um, anything? I, I really do feel like we covered it all. But um, <laughs> listen, I mean, I can't stress it enough. This phone really helps with connection and independence. Uh, for people who want to feel a little more connected, who want to have a smoother conversation, who want to feel a little more independent, this is the phone for them. Awesome. Cool. Thank you awesome. so much. So thank you, thank you for thank being you for here. Having me. Thank and you. for those of you out there, you can get more information at our website on www.cancertamer.org. I'm Dr. Charlie Ferrer. I'm Deborah St. Thanks for watching. Thank you.